Welcome to Homesteading the Pioneer Way. Well, today I'm making muscadine jam. Or jelly. Jam, jelly, whatever you want to call it. Jam has fruit in it. Jelly is just the juice. So whichever one you want to make. I've got my muscadines in here. My sugar. Now, I don't use sure gel. I have never used sure gel. I have always just put fruit and sugar. Boiled it, bring it to a boil, and simmer it till it all pops. And I actually have one of these things that I can help mash it once they start popping. And uh, while this is going, I've got to go get my jars. I've got to get them on simmer to sterilize them. And um, I'm making jelly today. Probably won't show you the whole process because everybody knows how to make jelly. You just heat it up, cook it till it um, gets its consistency that you want it. Whether you want to make a syrup, which would be um, thinner, or and I might take some of this out as syrup. I might leave um, the, and leave the rest of it for jelly. But anyway, that's what's going on in the homestead today. There's lots of recipes for uh, jellies and jams on YouTube. I just like muscadine. That's my favorite jelly. And my friend gave me these muscadines the other day when I was in Alabama. And, see, this one's already come out of the skin. And a lot of the skins is already coming off. Anyway, you strain it for jelly. After it gets to the consistency that you want it, you strain it for jelly. And if you want the jam, you can leave some of the pulp in it. Turn that up a little bit. It's not started. Um, the sugar is just now melting good. See how glossy it's getting. It was real grainy a while ago because I just put the sugar in. And I happen to think, you know, I need to tell everybody what's going on in the homestead today. Something different besides breeding. Of course, I'm still breeding. I've got um, three does left to breed. I think I said four the other day, and I do have four more does, but one of them are not going to be breeding this year. She was born this spring. She's only six months old, so she won't be breeding this year. So I've got three more to breed, and two of them are going to be bred to the doe that's in Alabama breeding my friend's herd. So I can go get him in a couple of weeks, and I'm hoping that they won't be ready to breed till I can get him. If they are, I'll have to wait till the next time they come in to their estra. And if you're wondering why I say estra instead of heat, uh, goats are in the deer family. So instead of going into heat, the males go into rut and the uh, does go into, the bucks go into rut and the does go into estra because they're kin to the deer. Anyway, what's going on in the homestead today? I've got one more doe. I'm waiting on to come into Esther so I can breed her to the um, buck that I have here. And then the other two, I'm hoping will hold off till I can... Uh, get the other bug back home. Anyway, till next time, this is Homesteading the Pioneer Way, saying keep homesteading.
Well, for some reason, this will not pause or go off. My other phone did.